Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make very simple trees in Blender. I already showed you a bunch of these but this one is kind of special. There's a playlist to all the other tree tutorials in the description. So I was asked by Bobby2 if I could make, make trees like this and uh, I think this is a cool way and uh, they look pretty cool for a low poly game and you can use this in our FPS um, game in Unity. So there's two ways you can make the like the tree trunk. One is just spawn in a cube and then enable snap during transform and uh, in edit mode just move it so it's kind of so the origin point is at the bottom right here. Uh and then you can um select this top part and then just move it up and scale it and uh, this would work but uh, it doesn't have much shape and and it doesn't look very well. Other thing you could do is uh, again spawn in a cube, but this time in edit, edit mode, just press Alt M and merge at center. Now you only have this one vertice or vertex, and now you can extrude just to anywhere. It doesn't matter. Go to the modifiers tab, add in a skin modifier, and now you have this. Now you can just keep extruding like that, and you get like a tree trunk. Then you can apply the modifier and uh, select this bottom part. Press O and then press S. Then you can use the mouse uh, scroll wheel to change the size of the circle. And then you could get something like this, which looks pretty cool and much better than before. At this point, I'm just going to rename this quickly to tree. And now we have to make kind of the branches for the for the tree. So let me just uh, shift A and, S, and then spawn in a plane. I'll open up a new window right here with this corner. Make this UV image editor and then uh, select this plane edit mode, press U and unwrap. Now here you need a um, branch texture. You can create one or you can just go to textures.com and you will, uh, if you sign up, you will get free 14, uh, 15 credits each day and that should be more than enough for uh, getting started. You can go to nature and then go branches and there's a bunch of branches right here you can use for um, your game. I chose this one and then you just go ahead and download it right here. Then you would go into Blender, click open down here, find your file, open up the file and then if you go here and click texture, it will show up the texture here. Now a thing I like to do is just make this uh, plane a bit uh, longer like that. And now if I uh, select everything and unwrap it again. Press R90 in the UV image editor and try placing this so it kind of fits the so kind of fits the the branch right here. That works fine. Now I just want to make sure that this uh, branch has its origin point in the right place. I can hide the thing here and then just make sure that the origin point is at like the start of the branch. And then just press Shift Control Alt C Origin 3D cursor. Press Alt H to bring this back. Select the tree and go to this Particles tab. Add a new particle effect and change the type to Hair. And I can go to Object down here and change the dupli object to Plane or AK to our um, leaf. Let me just move this aside and then you can scale it to make it bigger. Now of course this has way too much. Um, particle effect so you can just go and uh, under the emission tab change the number to like 30 or 40 depending on how much you want and of course you can change the hair length which I always do since these end up being a bit too short now we can see that the leaves grow in, in on the whole tree and we can fix that by just going into white paint mode pressing T to bring out this menu selecting the add tool and then the, just adding uh, some color to the points where we want the the leaves to be. So maybe just the top of the tree. You go to object mode and then in the particle effect right here you can go down to vertex groups and change the density group to group that we just created. Something like this. And you can see that the that the leaves now grow only on uh, the top part of the tree. Another cool thing you can do is click advanced right here and then you can just start playing with some randomness like this. And also you can uh, click rotation or check rotation down here and start playing with uh, some rota uh, random rotation. And once you get something you want, 
uh, you can uh, just go to the modifiers tab and click convert while having the tree selected and now um, you just press ctrl J to merge it you can delete this branch on the side and you will have quite a nice tree maybe add some materials um, first material will be leaves or uh, leaves sorry and then we'll add a second material which will be the tree uh, then I'll just press L while hovering over the tree trunk and assign the material now this is all black right now but we can change that in unity and it's pretty simple and the tree trunk we can also change in the unity uh, now this is quite simple and very basic you might not get the result that you want but uh, it's start and now of course you would have to uh, press RX minus 90 and make sure that the origin point is right here press ctrl A to apply the location scale and rotation go file save as I'll save this as tree 1 and then also file export FBX tree 1 FBX make sure you click selected objects down here and check this thing for scale export FBX this is a cool way to create trees hopefully you liked it if you did be sure uh, to leave a like on the video comment down below if you have any suggestions you can go follow me on my social media or even support me on my Patreon. There's links to that in the description. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.